Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Zelkanon, and this is another Smite Super Builds. Uh, so, a quick update. I'm going to be moving tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, so, I'm not sure how or when or if I can get a video up, to up tomorrow. Um, depending on how the internet is there. So, that's going to be a thing. So, uh, Bacchus was a requested build. Um for a mage Bacchus actually so this is how I would do my mage uh, Bacchus uh, I did use one item that isn't here anymore I was going to use um, the wall of absolution it gives you physical defense uh, power magical power that is and I think mp5 or hp5 something like that I forgot what the uh, the last stat was but um, I would definitely use that for Bacchus but it's no longer in the game so uh, at least this is more updated current mage Bacchus build Major Bacchus is, is a pretty scary thing, in fact, uh, mainly because of his amount of CC he has and uh, the amount of damage he can get off with his 3 and 4. So let's go into the build. So actives, it varies, um, like I always say, it varies on, on how your playstyle is, what teammates you got, and what game mode. Um, obviously, you would not be playing the Guardian role in Conquest as this. So, I don't, I'm not sure where Mage Bacchus would fit in Conquest. Probably not at all. <laughs> but outside of that, Actives, I would definitely get Purification Beads. Uh, because he has no real CC immunity. Not even CC reduction items. Uh, so you definitely need that. As soon as you jump in uh, with your belly flop, you're going to be uh, first priority target down. So, you're going to need some CC. Uh, then we have Feebling Curse. The second, act second Active kind of kind of varies. You can get uh, blink, either re regular blink, uh, if you don't want to use your belly flop to initiate. Um, and it's kind of hard to predict a blink because it just instantly blinks you to there. A belly flop, they can they have a few seconds to prepare um, how they're going to attack you. So that's an option. Or if you want combat blink, to you know, belly flop in, uh, CC, drop all your spells in one night, you can combat blink out, you can do that. Uh, but if Feebling Curse works well, so as soon as you uh, belly flop inside uh, the team fight, you can Feebling Curse them, so they're slowed by 40%, and their attack speed is reduced by 30%, so if they try fighting back, they're just gonna be really, it's going to be a lot slower. Uh, and this allows you to pop your ulti, since they won't be running away or doing anything like that, uh, since they're so slow. So Feebling Curse is pretty recommended. If you're fighting a lot of healers or high HP 5 guys, then get the Weakening Curse, because it reduces their heals. So items, I'm gonna go with Shoes of Magi for this. I uh, kind of want to get the most damage as possible as we can get with this build, um, and also we we follow up with the Chronos Pendant. Uh, reason why this and not over like Shoes of Focus or um, Breastplate of Valor is Chronos Pendant is really helpful for Bacchus because he's pretty mana hungry, um, especially if you're gonna have cooldown reduction. Uh, if you play uh, you know Bacchus before. You can tell he's he's pretty mana hungry at least early on in the game, trying to use his one all the time to keep that uh that passive not really passive but a uh, buff that gives you a higher defense and it fills your drunk meter, so that costs quite a bit of mana. So having this um if I can press the right button if we if we have a good H, uh, MP5 here, this would bring up our overall mana usage if we can stay in the uh, the battle longer. So Chronos Pendant works really well with him with the power MP5 and passive. Of the 25% cooldown reduction since these cooldowns are kind of lengthy, so this way you can use it more often. Next, we follow with Void Stone. Uh, his passive scaling for his magical defense is pretty low, so Void Stone will help that out. Uh, also, the Aura will help the team out, of course, as long as you have other magical people with you, uh, because you're going to be the one in the front lines and you're going to be um, trying to get all, all of the enemies. Uh, around you, so you're going to be able to reduce their magical protection, kind of acting as penetration for you. So when you get near them, they have this void stone debuff on them, and then your ulti is going to hit harder and or get three or whatnot. So void stone's really nice for him. Also grants you uh, magical power, obviously. Obsidian shard. It's a really cheap and high power item. Also, the penetration is really nice, especially against tanks with that 33 percent. At throw staff, uh, you want to be you want to be somewhat tanky since we're you know we're jumping into all of them. Uh, so having this amount of health is really nice. The mana lets you use your abilities more often, and then the passive uh, it just grants you more power. So it acts as one of those nice hybrid items they want to have. I kind of recommend this for all your uh, your tanky mage builds. Is having Ethereal staff. Uh, it just 
makes you tanky and have more power, obviously. And, f and of course, Rod to Hootie. Also, bringing up that MP5 uh, lets us keep us uh, very sustained, especially in Assault. With this build in Assault, uh, you won't really have much mana issues. Of course, if you're going to spam all your abilities 24-7, then you may have some issues. But uh, besides the fact this is a pretty good build, uh, feel free to change whatever you need accordingly. If you need more physical defense, then I will switch out Kronos Pinna with Breastplate of Valor. Uh, just, so this is the base build, the core build. Uh, feel free to tinker with it as you wish. And then, uh, So here we go. We have 2800 HP, pretty nice. 1500 mana and uh, 52 MP5. That's quite a bit. And our power is at a nice 558, 558. Defense is 79, and sorry, that's physical defense. And magical defense is 98. And as soon as we hit our one, it bumps up to 114 and 133. So we're still pretty tanky with this amount of HP and our one. So it's pretty nice. With the cooldown reduction, we can almost keep our one up the entire time. We're off by like two seconds. So let's go ahead and try out some damage. pretty good. Now we got a red buff for more power. That bumps us up to a nice uh, 705. Hmm, sorry. Let's go ahead and try the damage with this. Jumps up quite a bit. See our basics hit uh, quite nicely. Jump, jump through a wall. We drank our magical might. Sorry, magical might potion if I can speak. 749 power. Now elixir, 878. And then we go ahead and use our ulti for raw. 212, nice. Okay. So 912 power. That's a scary Bacchus. So that was 1100 ulti. And then the uh, the belch just finished him off. Gives you a rough idea on uh, how much it will hurt. Of course, keep in mind that is with uh, three buffs. That is the red buff and the two potions. So plan accordingly. So you may be a little bit lower, maybe the 800s or whatnot. So it's still a pretty frightening build uh, to have. So these just this is the cooldowns, by the way. Uh, 7.5, 12 seconds, 10.5, uh, 67. Point Five seconds. That's really awesome. Uh, so this is the damage. 550 base plus the uh, percentage of your magical power. Magical power buff. So works out quite well. That's going to wrap it up for this episode of Super Builds. Thanks for joining me and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.